Hi guys, how are you today? Time to talk housewives. Even more specific, time to talk about the real housewives of Beverly Hills and this ultimately complicated, yeah, that's how I would describe this complicated situation with uh, Tori Spelling. And I would say, I'm gonna go on the record and say, ultimately a waste of time. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. It's a waste of time to bring on Tori Spelling. So it was announced a couple days ago that Tori Spelling is going to appear on the show as a friend to the show. And she's going to be a friend to Kyle Richards. Now, do you guys remember? Oh, gosh. I can't remember. A couple weeks ago, I would say that I made a video about Kyle being paranoid that her sister... Both of them are coming on as friends to the show because remember, she's currently not speaking to Kathy right now and she was paranoid about it. And I made a whole video about it. Go back and check it out if you guys want to hear about that in detail. So what does it mean to be a friend of the show with the opportunity to work her way up? This is what they're saying. They're saying she's going to be a friend of the show, Tori Spelling, with the chance to work her way up. Let me translate what that means. It means that Kyle went running to Andy Cohen begging, okay, people, begging Tori Spelling to be on the show because Tori Spelling does not get along with Kathy Hilton and she thinks that she needs backup to help her with her own sisters. <laughs> That's what I take that that means with the opportunity to work her way up. It's not going to work, Kyle, and let me tell you why. I think Bravo knows this isn't going to work, and that's why they're saying with an opportunity, which means, listen, if you perform well and you can get these ratings up, okay, Tori, we'll bring you on full time. But if you are going to be a waste of spot, which you're going to be, then, you know, we'll let you come on to be a comforting counselor for Kyle, but ultimately we're only going to use you just for a little bit. They probably gave her a chance to work her way up because on paper it looks like Tori Spelling will be the perfect person. Okay, on paper. Most people think that Tori has money because she's a Spelling. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We all know she's poor and every other week getting sued because she didn't pay her bills. Okay, so, and, and they are saying that also that cat, um, Candy will be on as a friend to the show, too. We all know you hate your mom, okay? But you're not going to talk about it on camera. You had your own reality show where you kind of just glossed over the situation. Candy and you will never get along. So that's not going to happen on camera. As far as her sticking up for Kyle, that's not going to happen. She can't even stand up for herself. She's a real docile kind of person. Okay, she can talk behind your back all day, but we're going to, this is the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, okay? And we're going to need someone to bring it. She is not, I don't care how much she doesn't like Kathy Hilton, she's not going to verbal it, verbalize it at all. She's not going to be straight up. She's a little bit phony. No offense. I have nothing against Tori Spelling. I'm just saying what I think and I'm keeping it real. She's not going to go in the gutter like Lisa Renna and tell off Kathy Hilton and spill Kathy's secrets. N neither, she also won't do that for her mother who we know had an affair on Ellen, uh, Aaron Spelling the last couple years of her life, which she admitted to. That does not account for the entire marriage. I believe the rumors. You know, her mom loves to, you know, had affairs on her husband, but they're not going to bring this stuff to the camera. They're going to give phony birthday parties and act like they're a happy family. It's a total waste of time, if you ask me, to bring on Tori Spelling, who we all know is not rich. So I don't see any good out of bringing Tori Spelling on the show. I really don't. We're not going to talk about her husband and why he can't keep a job. <laughs> What's the name? Dee McDermott. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about how he cheats on you, Tori. She's not going to do that. We're going to hear about her kids and her, watch her plan these useless birthday parties. She's not going to do, Kyle, what you think she's going to do. This is ultimately, if you ask me, a waste of time. If you want to take on Kathy, Kyle, you're going to have to do it yourself. Now, the rumors are that uh, Erica and Lisa are worried about their jobs. They feel like their roles are going to be diminished. You should, guys, you guys should be worried, okay? Let's just, I don't think Tor, Tori's going to do what they think she's going to do. And so that's the rumor that they're worried that their roles are going to be diminished because of Tori's spelling. No, 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 no. Kyle 
calm down, guys. You two, Rena and Girardi, pipe down, okay? Pipe down over there. We do not need you being scared because you think that Tori Spelling's role will push you out. You need to be scared because Kathy Hilton's role <laughs> will push you out. Kathy Hilton is a big threat to those two. She's not faking money like Rena. She's really rich. She already has a juicy storyline. She's not scared to stand up to Kyle like you are, Rena. I mean, that's why you should be worried. But as far as Tori Spelling's concerned, mm, don't be worried about that. I don't see her lasting another season. It's going to be a very short time, her role with the Royal Housewives of Beverly Hills. If you ask me, okay, and don't forget, I'm just the woman that loves to give unwanted opinions, but unwanted opinions that make a lot of sense. Tori Spelling is going to be a bust, and I'm calling it now before she even hits the camera, okay? Even though on paper you would think this is amazing, a, a poor woman pretending to be rich again, she's going to snap on her mom and tell everyone the real reason that her and her mother don't get along and how her mom hates Dean because that's a uh, big portion of why she's not getting along with um her mother is because Candy can spot a loser when she sees one. And that's no shade to you, Dean. I mean, if you choose to work every couple years, that's fine. I mean, it's whatever Tori accepts is good for me, you know. So if you don't mind working and Tori puts up with it and having all your bills uh, be in the public eye, it doesn't bother me, but it bothers Candy. Candy does not like Dean, but she's not going to talk about it on camera. Trust me, guys, she is not going to talk about it on camera. Even when Tori had her own reality show, I believe it was on E. It wasn't that long. Um, they didn't get into the nitty gritty of why mother and daughter don't get along. They just kind of gloss over it. The same way they're going to do on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So people are saying that Candy will be making appearances on the show. We probably are only going to see Candy probably a good two minutes at some stupid charity event that Tori should not be at anyway because you can't donate money. You don't have any. <laughs> Me. It's the truth, guys. That's what I do. I tell the truth. I keep it real. This is a bus. She's not going to stand up for you, Kyle, the way that you think she is. Listen, if you need to stand up to, for, to your sister, you're going to have to do it yourself. Mauricio's not going to do it because he has too much to lose, okay? He doesn't like them either, by the way. Kathy, it's a mutual dislike for each other. Kathy and Rick don't like Mauricio because he's um, a snake in the grass when it comes to business, but they return the favors. Listen, Mauricio does not like to see Rick every five minutes because it reminds him of what he did to him. You know, he loves to stab Rick in the back. Eek, 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 eek. You guys remember the story. No need for me to repeat it all over again. But I'm just saying, even though he can't stand um, Kathy and Rick, He's not going to stand up for Kyle. He's just not going to do it. It's not in his character. If you want to take on your sister, Kyle, you're going to have to do it yourself. You don't even have Teddy there anymore wasting up space to even listen to you cry. I mean, and Girardi and Renna, they're not going to get in this mess. That's family business. So, yes, I totally believe that you went and begged Andy Cohen to bring on Tori because in your head you think this is a great idea but I'm calling it early before Tori even hits the screen this is a total buzz she is not going to get in your family drama she doesn't even know how to stand up for herself and tell Dean to stop cheating so much <laughs> oh yeah did I forget to mention that Dean is a huge cheater you know I mean but what comes around goes around. You had an affair on your ex-husband, Charlie, with Dean, and did you really think he wouldn't return the favor? What is the saying? How you meet him is how you'll lose him. Tori has been putting up for years, guys, uh, with Dean's wandering eye. I'll put it that way, okay? He doesn't like Tori. He thought he was getting a spelling and that he would be rich and famous, and he learned a long time ago that that was a bust. That's not true. Now he just has this clingy woman, and that's no shade to Tori. We all know she's a stage three clinger to Dean because she's paranoid he's going to cheat on her again. I mean, he's cheated on her so many times it's not even worth bringing up, and that's why they're not going to bring it up on the show. But Tori is not going to stand up to Kathy Hilton. I don't care if these two 
have, I don't care how long they haven't gotten along. She is not going to take on Kathy Hilton. Kyle, if you want someone to stand up to your sister, you're going to have to reach deep, okay, down deep and do it yourself. So at the end of the day, do uh, Girardi and Rena have to be fearful that Tori is going to push them out? Mm-mm. But you do have to be careful that Kathy's going to push you out because I guarantee you, at the drop of a dime, when she goes to Eddie Cohen and says, you know, I changed my mind, I want to be a full-time cast member. And believe me, when it comes to Andy Cohen, Kathy Hilton is running the show. They, are, they will dump Renna and Girardi in a second. So they do have to be worried about Kathy, but not Tori. So, you know, this is a complicated situation, this Tori spelling thing, but I feel I ultimately a bus at the end of the day. I'm calling it here first, you guys. So we will, let's talk about it in the comments section. What do you guys think of, of Tori Spelling joining the cast, being, becoming a friend of the show through Kyle Richards? Let me know what you think about it. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. It does wonders for my video. If you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell, go ahead and do that. I mean, you guys in the comments section, well, we will have an honest adult conversation. Until next time, bye for now.